Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of artwork in the style of Thomas Kellner. And as you'll see, I have already opened up a contact sheet. As I don't have access to a contact sheet of my own, I um, used one of Thomas Kellner's and I emptied out the um, photographs inside and I now have empty spaces where they are. Um, and I've also opened up an image that I photographed up in London. And I'm just going to use the rectangular select tool to select the whole thing and then press control C to copy it and then control V to paste it into the new project. Okay. It's a bit big, so I'm going to resize it, making sure I press shift on the keyboard while I'm doing so so it maintains its shape without stretching or squishing and I'm just going to position it within the contact sheet space there we go okay and then I'm going to drag it below the contact sheet layer and there we have it looks like it's within the contact sheet now so now we need to start making the various bits look wonky so we're going to right click on the photo layer and duplicate layer that's going to give us the photo again and we're going to go to the arrow tool and we're just going to turn it a bit and move it back closer to where it would have been but now swiveled slightly and we're going to go to the contact sheet and use the magic wand to select some of the areas. Um, it can be a bit random at the moment, but select a few different areas that you want to stay like this. Then go back to the photo layer, press select, invert, and then press delete. And that means you will have deleted everything but the ones you masked off before you inverted the mask. I'll just show you. There you go, they're the ones that we've now got from the second image. Okay, now we're gonna duplicate the bottom layer again. And same as last time, we're going to use the arrow tool to swivel it. This time we're gonna go in the opposite direction. And same as last time, we're gonna go back to the contact sheet. We're gonna to go to the magic wand tool. And again, we're going to select some of these areas. Remember to press shift while you do this to be able to select multiple areas. And again, it's a bit random, but you can choose the areas that you like. And then once you're happy with that, same again. Go back to the photo layer. and select inverse so you're selecting everything but those bits then press delete and that's going to get you those bits showing okay and then we're just going to repeat this process again and again each time swiveling the original image and each time then going to the contact sheet layer and using the magic wand to select parts of it that you want to stay there. And each time you do this, the image will get slowly more and more broken up and there'll be more areas looking more and more wonky. Okay, so I'm gonna cut forward a little bit after I've done a few more layers. And here you see I've done a couple more layers and I've just come back. So I just want to show you one more thing. I'm duplicating one last layer and doing the usual using the arrow tool to move it 
and because it's the last layer I will likely leave this as it is just like that with the other stuff above it but I wanted to show you that in doing it and turning it you can see the edges of the photograph so it's very important that you get the um, contact sheet and the magic wand and you select those bits where the edges of the photographs have now kind of shown and then just press delete on the layer that they're on so that you don't have any kind of photograph edges showing okay and that is the image done and dusted now you're welcome to leave it as a color image um, but I think uh, if you flatten the image by right clicking on any of the layers and choosing flatten image then you can go to image adjustments black and white and turn the image black and white which you may feel looks better and that's the end of this tutorial i hope you find it helpful